Wow, powerful music right there. A song that will take you deeper in the spirit. Wokame Ho. I'm really inspired this afternoon by this beautiful piece by a gospel musician in Ghana. Yes, she's called uh, for, you know, for this. Uh, she says that she's a nurse by profession. That's how she loves to be described. She sings songs and that is usually inspired by the spirit. Others will be singing uh, from other inspirations, but she's saying that by the spirit. I'm excited to introduce you this afternoon. Sandy Asari, you are welcome. Thank you very much. How are you doing? I'm good. How are you too? I'm doing good. <laughs> is that by faith or you're really doing good? What really is oh, it? Oh, I'm good. I'm good. good. I'm good. Um, mm. God waking us up this morning means I'm good. Yeah. yeah. His grace is abundant. So His so. grace is abundant. Amen. <laughs> okay, I mean, it's, it's exciting to have you. Uh, I have seen you worship and I have seen you sing. And I think you really delve deeper in the spirit. I personally love worship. So when I see people that worship and go deep there, I am mm. super excited. How do, we, how do you do it? Before you go into worship in churches, programs, how do you do it? Thank you very much. I think, um, I believe that um, God gives me the strength to do everything. Um, we have our will, but if you don't seek for God's consent in everything that you do, you just do things just as a normal being would do. But if God is in everything that you do, you, you are unique in every way. So um, God, God first, God is in everything that I do. Um, I go with God before I minister, and then I come home with God. So it's God in everything. I do. Okay. Sandy, I mean, for someone who is probably seeing you for the first time, doesn't know so much about you, tell us about you, um, what you do, your gospel music, your journey. Tell us more about yourself. Sandy Asari is a female gospel artist, just as you said. Um, I'm a nurse by profession and a preacher of God's word through my songs, my calling. Um, I'm married to a sound engineer, and then we, we have three kids. Okay. Wow. <laughs> right, that's pretty exciting. I go to Church of Pentecost, um, and 2017, I released my first album, but it didn't go through well because um, we were not linked with the right people to help us promote the song. And then the fans too were not enough to help us mm. push the song. But people were really blessed with the song, although there were not enough fans. Um, there were seven tracks in the album and in other medleys. And this year, April, we released three singles and then this current one. So what's really the difference now? Uh, are the fans available now? Are people accepting you better? Do you have a label now? What's the difference? Um, I don't have a label now. People have really accepted me, just as you said. But I believe um, hard, work, hard work has brought me this far. Um, I saw what I was doing from the beginning as a training ground for me to become a better person. So, yeah. And your three singles that are out now, how is it doing? Are people accepting you better than uh, they were before? Though you said even your previous album, it wasn't so much, didn't go far as much as you expected it to. But uh, will you say that these three singles that you have released now is doing better than the previous one? Yes, by God's grace, it's really blessing lives and giving great testimony. So I would say the current three singles released now is really blessing lives. It's, people have really come to accept it. But what do you feel you did differently that is making people, that is making it do better than it was previously? Okay, I've set up the standard. Like, we want to revive the old high life thing. Um, so that is what we are projecting now. We are preaching the word of God, but there has to be a set up standard. So we, we want to project God through high life music. So I think this has really helped me. For, yeah. And are people jamming to the combination you are trying to make? Yes, they are. You know, in our Ghanaian setting, mm -hmm. when you go, the, I won't say the other way, but <laughs> you do what is not mm -hmm. the yeah. norm. Mm -hmm. There are questions people raise. Have you faced any sort of like challenge, any backlash for doing that? Not really. Um, I think it's God. It's mm -hmm. God because, as I already said, if God is in whatever you do, yeah. you stand out. You are unique in every way so i think it's god that's what i would say because um there's always a normal way of doing something exactly. just as you said if you you really move from the normal way people will speak much about you and then out there will be different mm. but i think god makes me unique in this way and that's the way i'm going you're going yeah. that's good okay. how long have you been in this industry doing gospel music 
Um, I've been singing for 11 years, but six years since I started singing my own Professionally? Songs. Six years. Wow. And how has the journey been so far for you? Um, I would say it wasn't easy. Um, raising funds for production, promoting the song and everything. It hasn't been easy. Sometimes I would go to the studio um, close late, as late as 2 a.m., get to the house. You're a mother. You yeah. have to really take care of your kids. And then you come home at 2 a.m., expecting to wake up in the morning and then um, bath your children, get them ready for school. Mm. It's not easy. Sometimes getting people to take care of our kids for us to go for programs and even events is very challenging. But with God, all things are possible. So, we're ready. so are things better now? Yes. The challenges you used to face back then, mm. is it still there? Um, I would say it, it, it has really reduced, but <laughs> <laughs> it has reduced as compared to... So this. now you yeah. do have sponsors, people that um, sponsor you. I wouldn't say I have sponsors because I have a team now. Okay. Yes, I have a team, but uh, most of the fans are coming from my husband. Uh -huh. oh, God, so, bless him, God, bless. God bless him. What about your church? God bless him. What about church, right? though? Mm. Oh, what the church is really supporting, like, um, mm. arranging programs, like events. They invite okay. me for, for events, and then okay. they, when, I, when I go for events, they call me on stage, and then I, I advertise myself by telling them my handle so that they okay. can subscribe to my handles. The church really supports, and then... I but got do, do they give you money when you perform at these events? Yes, yes, yes. They give okay. you money. They give That's you good to know. know. <laughs> it's not like other stories. They give me money. Some high and malt no. and all that. Yeah, I think I'm going giving. past that stage. Yes. 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 But, you know, you mentioned that your husband is a sound engineer. Yes. Okay, so um, basically, was it business? I mean, what inspired you in getting <laughs> to do this together? This starts as a business. You know, you can sing. I can engineer. Mm -hmm. So we are doing this. How did it really start? Um, you know, um, because he's a sound engineer, he knows better. So he knows what goes into singing, how it should come out, mixing and mastering and everything. Yeah. So if there's something I'm not doing right, he's the best person to put me on the straight path. So I think he came in to join me in doing this. Um, <laughs> wow. it's, it's God, and I'm glad it's, mm. it's this way. Yeah. I think that also goes along with telling us about you know, marriage and purpose. You know, mm -hmm. Sometimes people don't understand that a, sure. a man of God will marry a singer. And the rest. <laughs> yeah. It's more or less like there is yeah. some form of you know, business in there. There's some of a purpose. So it, it's good to know. But I mean, apart from him you know, missing your song, you said he also sponsors your ministry as well. How does he do this? What does he add up to to, to help you go? Uh, in your career he also works as a sound engineer just as you said so he's been mastering people so he gets the fans from there and then we also get some support from other people uh, okay mm. but most of them comes from, come from him oh. okay so you said you have been in this industry professionally six years now six. what would you say the ghana uh, especially gospel music industry is like has it been friendly to you how has it been so far Yes, very friendly. Um, I thank God for that because it's not easy coming up as a like a new artist. Um, how you are going to be accepted is not assured. But with hard work, people see me from afar. I go to programs and I'm like, hey, who's winning me? <laughs> it means I'm really working hard <laughs> yeah, and people yeah. are really watching me from afar. They are really friendly and I thank God for that. Okay. Yeah. But you also mentioned that your song are inspired by the spirit, basically. Yeah. How do you get your songs? Is it that you get it in dreams? If it's by the Holy Spirit, do you get it through reading the Bible? How do you get your songs? Okay, um, my relationship with God, um, reading my Bible, praying, meditating, and sometimes to the life experiences that surrounds me, like what I go through in life. Recently, the new one I, I just released, it was through um, a life situation my husband and I went through two weeks after marriage. Um, he was working on a few projects of some people living outside. He had this project on his laptop, and we came to Kumase two weeks after marriage, only for Am Roberts to steal the laptop wow. and our phone. So every project he had was on a laptop, and they took it away. It was crazy. very challenging for us because he had already taken money from them. And if you, you don't deliver my work, you have to give it back my money. money yeah. So we, we, we had to go back to Sunyani and then struggle to get money to pay them. It wasn't wow. easy. It wasn't easy at all. But with God on our side, everything is possible. We will together. But 
It seems okay. The <laughs> the music industry or the gospel mm -hmm. fraternity, you said, is friendly, which we don't yeah. really hear. So it's good to hear. <laughs> I mean, this side of the story is yes. not always. I thank God for that. Okay. <laughs> I mean, our time is almost running. But then, uh, tell us about your new uh, your new song. What inspired it? Why it, was it a story like that of your husband, or how did it come about at all? Who came okay. In? Okay. So who came and who came as a result of what we went through two weeks after our marriage? Um, as I said earlier. My husband was working on a few projects of some people living outside. And so we came to Kumasi for Thanksgiving, and Robert stole his um, laptop and our phones. He had the project on the laptop yeah. and hard drive. They stole it. So we, went, we had to go back to Sinyani and then work hard, struggle to get money to pay people who, whose projects were with him. It wasn't easy, though. And through my pregnancy, I, we went through hardship. I, I could vomit the scent of vomiting blood. It, it, it was very difficult. Through this, God gave him this song. He had the chorus. Sabraboya didn't say an erratic count. So he had a phone at that time, and he recorded it on it six years ago. We were doing a few projects in the studio. It wasn't this song. And then he said, Mama, do you remember in Sunyani, we faced so many challenges, and God brought out from that situation. I want us to do a song God gave me at that time, and then put the others aside. And that is what came home. We had the help of our brother, the King Samiba, who sang One My Haunting, and then King George, who also helped us on this project. Wow. Yeah. Okay. It's, it's been great having you join us here today. Thank you you can so share with us your handles me. quickly then. Oh. Okay, so Sandy Asari on Facebook, um, YouTube, Instagram, TikTok. And then Sandy Asari has songs aside from this current one on digital platforms. And boom play iTunes, Audio Max, Spotify, name them Sandy Asari. God bless you. All right, God bless you too. Thanks for coming. Okay, and you can also check out her, her live performances on YouTube, right. amazing videos, a lot of videos. You are quite popular on YouTube. Yeah. That's, that's so, very by nice. God's grace. <laughs>